Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are out here at the Red Planet and we are about to assault it. So let's do that. I have no idea what to expect. Let's explore. Holy hell. That is a big remnant fleet one radiant one two three four five six brilliance five fulgence four scintillas six scintillas the scintillas are going to be important to destroy because they carry all the fighters so those are the one that's ones that we'll go after first i think This is what we can deploy right now. Hmm. So I guess that's what we're deploying. And we're just gonna set a rally point right here. Okay. We see a scintilla there, so I am going to strike that. I'm kind of going to try and stay in here between the two legions. I really want to take down the scintillas. Another scintilla there. I am gonna stay here and try and take this out. Our onslaught is in trouble. It would be nice if you would pull back onslaught. Brilliant is taking some damage, which is good. Let's target you. Oh, we got a glimmer. Whoa, our onslaught is taking a beating, man. Alright, that scintilla is down. Good. Let's target the Brilliant. Take that down. That's down. Okay. Let's target this radiant. Another scintilla down. Okay, what do we have? We have a scintilla over there, which is almost down. We will strike you. Our onslaught is going down. I don't think it'll be able to retreat, but we'll try. Nope, it will not. So let's bring in another onslaught. We'll try and kind of hold off a little bit. Let's try and take you out while you're here. For you. It's overloaded. We didn't get it though. Oh, we got it. Let's do a quick vent. Oh, we can. Our engines are out. Alright, that other scintilla is disabled. Slot coming, it is. Come on, man. Let's regain our engines. Come on. There we go. Two 
lumens are down. Where's my mouse? There. I do not want to be in the line of fire of you. And we'll strike you. I want to strike you. Another lumen down. Let's follow you. Radiant there. Alright, Radiant is, oh, is overloaded. Let's do some damage to it, shall we? Guys, come on. Our new onslaught is almost dead as well. This is not great. you to retreat. We can actually deploy something. Uh, we have 20. Why can't I deploy that? Oh, I have you selected. Deploy. Put strikes on you and you. All right, a fulgent down. Another fulgent down and a glimmer. this and that fulgent is almost down I really want the scintilla down because that's the carrier Once this retreats, we'll get in the other Odyssey, I think. Glimmer down. Onslaught retreated. Scintilla down. Uh, I can't get you in, so we'll get you in. Fulgent down. Did I remove the... Yeah, I did remove the rally point. I thought it was a new rally point I accidentally put in that I deleted. It's okay. All right, that Radiant is really taking a beating. It is close to dead. There goes another Glimmer. is not doing too well here. Strike you. Right, that fulgent is going down. Yep. Sutilla down. You. What are you doing? It's 
basically down. We just need a little bit more shield damage and we go. We do have a fighter strike on it. We'll follow you. Okay, it's gonna go down now. I feel pretty confident. It's overloaded, it's down. Alright. Excellent. Comes another brilliant. Let's strike you. That thing is going down. I think you come up and engage that. You let's strike that. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. We did lose an onslaught and a and my Odyssey, but two casualties for all this so far is acceptable to me. Hopefully we'll be able to recover them. There we go. Glimmer down, brilliant down. Let's strike you, you and you. You two. Oh, I'm out of command points. And one now. So you search and destroy. I'm thinking maybe I should tell this Legion to retreat, but to be honest, I'd rather have it in the fight. And now it's too late anyway. Brilliant down. Let's follow you. more brilliant coming in. That thing is going down. Quick. Come on, get it. have left just a brilliant still everything to go for him and he's down pretty much there we go we win claim victory consider ship recovery we'll recover both of them Cover, pick through the wreckage. A gamma core, plasma cannon, tech in lance, blah blah blah. Some nice uh, remnant fighters. Not half bad. It's not half bad. Right, confirm. In 825,000 experience. Okay, send salvage team down to the facility. Pick through the salvage. Ooh, 
Prometheus class tanker blueprint, we'll learn that. Tachyon lance blueprint, we'll learn that. Blue flat cannon, we already know. Copish wing, we already know. And the planetary shield blueprint. An envelope of charged plasma seeded with exotic virtual particles producing effects which disrupt the combat effectiveness of long range bombardment and even incursion by small vessels. The planetary shield can be continually charged and controlled by a central source and presents a formidable obstacle to any form of ground assault. Nice. 1,145,000 if we sell it, but we're not going to do that. We're going to learn it. All right, that's that done. Let's survey this. Whoa. Abundant organics, trace volatiles, moderate ore deposits, sparse, rare ore, and poor farmland. It's not a bad planet. Okay, well, we might as well pick through this wreckage. See if there's anything else good. Not really. Well, I think we're gonna head home and try and install uh, the shield on one of our um, on one of our planets, uh, and that's just to see what it does, and then we will call this. The series, but we'll be starting on up a new one, uh, a heavily modded one after that, uh, with the Nexarlin mod, which uh, makes it a 4K game, which I kind of look forward to trying. And there will be lots of uh, new ships, new factions, and the factions uh, can actually aggressively go to war with each other and take each other's planets and colonies and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying that. And uh, we're going to try that together. So, yeah, I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be fun. I have played a little bit with uh, the Nixerlin mod and a few uh, faction mods so it seems pretty interesting I haven't gotten that far but it seems quite interesting and a bigger challenge than uh, than the Manila game which I'm not sure I'm ready for, but we'll give it a shot. Are we there yet? Three days. Okay. So we're almost there. 1.7 days, 1.5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we got some income. Okay, here we are. Go in there. Hold our jump. We'll head to Odin, and that's where we'll try and uh, install this shield. Just to see what it does. Wow, look at our fleet there. An onslaught, two Odysseys, two Dominators. Not bad. Okay, storage. Not that it really matters, but we'll store it up anyway. There. Resource stockpile. We'll just give that to that. And grab as much fuel as we can. 
as many supplies as we can, drop off that. And we need some crew as well. Let's grab 3,000 crew. Okay. Now, how do we install this uh, planetary shield? Build time, 90 days. Let's build it. And we'll see what it does. Okay. Let's leave. We want to go to Freya. Open market. So those things. Alrighty, and I think I will just let time run for a bit to see what this uh, this shield does. So I'll let time run until it's built, and then we'll uh, see what it does. So be right back, guys. Right, so there is around 10 days left until this is complete, 9 days, so we're just gonna hang out here, but I wanted to show you, this is so cool, you can see the actual ships that you have in your fleet in the air when you zoom in, so you can see the three legions, the two onslaughts, conquest, the couple of odysseys, heron there, heron there, some colossi, the prometheus, don't, the Phaeton there it is so cool it is so cool that you can actually see the actual ships there's the Griffin I love it I really love it this game is so awesome let's see how far are we out one day left okay and come on there we go, we have a planetary shield. It looks cool, doesn't it? That looks really cool. Now, what does it do to... Oops. So... Hazard rating 125. Access 155%. I think that has gone down. Defenses, quite good, quite good. Some very nice fleets, very stable world. And the planetary shield, ground defense strength times three. Not bad, not bad. That is very, very cool. So. Yeah, I think we are going to call this series here, guys, because I, I feel kind of feel like that we've done everything more or less. Granted, we haven't attacked a colony of one of the other factions, but we'll get to do that in the 4K version, because you can't in the vanilla version you can't actually take them; you can just disrupt them. So, sure. It makes some sense if you were at war, but you, you can't really take them over or anything like that. So I, I feel like there's almost no point in the vanilla game. So I think I think we'll do that in the, in the modded one, which we will start up, uh, I guess, tomorrow. So this is going up on Saturday the 4th of April, so on Sunday the 5th of April, I think we'll start on our uh, modded series where we'll be playing with Nexerlin and uh, a bunch of other mods that makes the game much more complex. So yeah, I hope to see you in the new series starting on Sunday the 5th of April. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.